for some reason, when it comes to home stuff, there is always something that goes wrong. Welcome back to my channel. I am currently in my office. I am working right now. It is Tuesday and I decided to vlog today because we are getting the rest of our appliances in and I wanted to give you guys an update on all of that. We got about half of our appliances in a week ago, I think at this point. I can't remember exactly. We've been itching to get the rest of our appliances. We haven't had a washer and dryer since we moved in to our new house about four weeks ago. And so we desperately, desperately need it. The amount of laundry I have piling up is absolutely sickening and I just can't wait to have it. And we also haven't had our fridge. We did buy a smaller fridge that we've been keeping in the garage, but I am ready to have a fridge in our actual kitchen. So hopefully this ends up being an interesting video. <laughs> Make sure you hit that red subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss when I post my next video. It's a little after 10.30. Frank just called me from upstairs. He said that the delivery guys just called him and they will be here in an hour. I almost cannot contain my excitement. You guys don't understand. A month without major appliances has been so hard, <laughs> but we are almost there. Nori is awake now and we're actually in the car because we went to go to Dunkin Donuts. Hi. <laughs> Since Nori's awake now, we didn't want her to be in the way of the guys like putting the appliances in. So they're just installing everything. So we didn't want her. She's just always in the way. I mean, she's a toddler. That's just how she is. She wants to say hi to everybody. And during these strange COVID times, we just wanted to get her out of the way. So I took her in the car, even though it is the middle of the day and I'm supposed to be working, you know, since I'm working from home, I'm able to step away if I have to. So I just took her, put her in the car and we ran to Dunkin' so I could get her some breakfast and me some coffee. So we're doing that now. So as soon as we get home and the guys leave, I can show you what all of the appliances look like. And I am so excited. Yes. Ready. Hmm? Ready now. It's ready? Your bread? I'm ready now. Okay. Here you go. Got it? Hold it like this. Like that. Mmm. Is it good? I got her some cream cheese on an English muffin and had them lightly toast it. I also did get her D-O-N-U-T-S, but I try to make her eat the other stuff first before I give her those. I got myself a pumpkin coffee. I've actually been drinking Duncan's pumpkin coffee since August, so to say I've OD'd on it would probably be an understatement, but okay. I think we are good to head back home now, hopefully. I'll probably call Frank on the way home, so if we have to sit in the driveway for a little bit, that's fine. My water. Oh, honey, I didn't bring your water. I'm sorry, we'll get some at home. All right, so I'm gonna put my camera down so I can drive. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Say we're home now. Yeah. Let's see your face. Yeah. Show me your face. Let me see that cream cheese face. Mmm. How is your cream cheese English muffin? Good. Good? Okay, so we are back home and for some reason when it comes to home stuff, there is always something that goes wrong or 
something that is difficult about it. And while all of our appliances are here, there's just one minor issue. The washer that is hooked up in the laundry room keeps tripping. I'm not sure why. When we had the inspection done, the outlet in the laundry room didn't have a GFI outlet. So we had the sellers take care of that before we settled on the house. And I think that's what's causing the issue. So Frank had to call an electrician and he's gonna come out tomorrow. So for the time being, the washing machine is hooked up to an extension cord, but luckily we can still do laundry today if we need to. And hopefully the electrician will be able to fix that tomorrow. But I will go ahead and show you guys the appliances now. So here's the fridge guys. As you can see, it is pretty large and it sticks out from the counter. And we knew that it sticks out like that because it's not counter depth. If it were counter depth, then it would sit flush with the cabinets. But those just seemed kind of small to us. So we went with this knowing that it was going to kind of cut into our walkway area. If you look here, you can see that it's a pretty tight squeeze with the bar stools. So we may end up just putting the bar stools in the dining room over there and just keeping them over there unless we need them. Because we do have a table here, which is just right off the kitchen. So we can always eat there if we need to. But yeah, this is the fridge. It is the GE Cafe line. All of the kitchen appliances that we got are the GE Cafe line and I'm so excited about it. So let me open it up. There is a backlit wall here that says cafe. And I don't know if you can see, but there's like a little like geometric shape design. And then all of the shelves have, it almost looks like rose gold. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if you can see it on here. To me, it almost looks rose gold. I think they're calling it a copper color. So all of the shelves inside the fridge and then on the doors are lined with this copper. And as you can see, there are two drawers here. This first drawer, the way it's advertised is for wine. So you can actually change it. You can do a soft freeze, so make it like a freezer, or you can put some meats. I think they showed like charcuterie meats. And then it's currently set to beverages and you can do snacks or wine. So I thought that was really cool. And then the freezer is down here. And there is this top drawer. And then there's another drawer right below that. And it is plastic, so it's see-through to the very bottom. And then the bottom drawer. So this is actually a lot more spacious I think it's telling me to shut the doors, but this is actually a lot more spacious than I thought it was going to be when I saw it in the store. So I'm pretty impressed. And then on the outside, it just has the water filter and also ice. So I'm so excited about that because we've been drinking bottled water for the past month and while there is absolutely nothing wrong with bottled water, our recyclables have been suffering. We've generated more recyclables in the past month than we have in probably like the past three months. So I'm excited to have water. And then if we come over here, we had already gotten these a week or so ago, or maybe it's two weeks at this point. So the first appliances that we got were this double oven stove and the microwave as well as the dishwasher so those were the first to come so we've already had the opportunity to use the dishwasher a couple times and it works pretty good it has a decent amount of settings for pots and pans normal it even does like fancy china you can do an express 
And then there's like a pre-soak and sanitize. And then these are like the normal ones, like high temp wash. And then you can choose to do the upper section or the lower section. And then you can enable the bottle jets. There are bottle jets right in here. So this would be good for like wine glasses or even if you have a baby, then you can do the milk bottles in there. And then there's just three settings for the dry. It's ultra, normal, or you can turn the dry off. So that's pretty convenient. And then as I said, this is a double oven. So the top oven is just a normal oven. You can do bake, broil, whatever you want in there. And then the bottom oven is it does the normal baking, but it also does convection. So since we've had this a week, I haven't gotten to use the oven yet or either of the ovens, but I have used the cooktop and we previously came from a gas stove. So electric is a completely new experience for me, but so far I'm liking it and it is way easier to clean. So I like that aspect of it. And this microwave, I've used it a ton. This is probably our most used appliance so far. I do like it. It's really nice on the inside. I don't know if... I don't think it's considered stainless steel. It kind of feels like a little, I don't know, plasticky, not metal, which I think is probably because it's a microwave. You have to have it microwave safe. But it does look like it's going to be a lot easier to keep clean. So I do like that. And as you can see here on the keypad, there are no numbers. So in order to set the cook time, you press cook time and you use the dial. So I thought that was pretty cool. So those are the four appliances that we've gotten in the kitchen. We replaced everything. I did mention in a previous video that the sellers did take their fridge. So when we found out they were taking their fridge and then they also took their washer and dryer, when we found that out, we just decided that we were going to get all new appliances. So that's what we did. I am planning to do a more in-depth review or at least show myself using the appliances and what my impressions are of them probably really soon because I want to kind of give like my genuine first impressions of what I think of all these appliances and then farther down the line when I've had a chance to really use all of the features and everything then I'll probably do a more in-depth review of them. But so far I have hooked up the dishwasher and the oven to my phone because there is an app that they are connected to through Wi-Fi. So I did set those up, but I haven't had a chance to fully understand what it does and how to use it and everything. But let me go show you the washer and dryer now. Now I'm just heading into the laundry room and right off the door, you see the washer right here. And that is because as I mentioned, the electrical socket back here keeps tripping. And I think it's because the sellers did the GFI outlet themselves, potentially. I'm not positive, but we think that's what it is. And so every time they tried to run the wash, it was tripping. So the installers ended up just hooking it up to an extension cord and it's currently plugged into my office. So as I said, Frank called an electrician and they will be out here tomorrow to try and get it fixed for us. But the dryer is where it should be and I think it's hooked up and working properly. I'm not positive, but I think that's a completely different outlet that it's hooked up to. So I think that's why there's no issue. But the washer and dryer is actually also GE. Cafe does not make a washer and dryer, which kind of makes sense because cafe is all about the kitchen, you know, food and everything. Washer and dryer has nothing to do with food. So these are the ultra fresh vent. So you can see it says that right here, ultra fresh vent. I think technically the washer is considered ultra fresh vent but the dryer isn't just because the vent is what sold me on this washer. I 
was considering not getting a front load washer just because I heard that the inner lining of the door ring can get mildewy and moldy and it can smell if you don't properly dry it. So when I was looking into washers, I came across this one and it actually has a vent here and you can turn that setting on to dry the door ring so that it doesn't build up water and get nasty. And as you see here, this is blue because it's lined with, okay, so my camera doesn't wanna focus, but this right here says protected with microban. So that's what's in there, it's microban material. So this actually will not build up any mildew or mold just because of the type of material it is. And, when I open up the drawer where you put the detergents, this is also lined with microban, so this won't have any mildew or mold issues as well. So that is what completely sold me on this washer and dryer. It's currently, I believe, the only one on the market that has this feature. So my plan is to use this and let you guys know what I really think of it. And then the dryer is just a standard dryer. We're actually gonna have to flip flop the doors because with them being next to each other like this, you can see that that's gonna get annoying. So I have to flip flop the doors, but I'll worry about that later when the washer's outlet is working properly. But yeah, this dryer is pretty deceivingly large. So I think this will work really good for us. And then we did opt to get the pedestals because I was talking to my sister and she said that the one regret that she had about her front loaders was that she didn't get the pedestals because then she has to like bend over and that can get annoying if you have back issues. But yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say about these appliances here. If I think of more, I'll say something else, but that should be it for these. <laughs> okay, so I just came outside because I wanted to show you the very last appliance that we got. And that is Frank's grill. <laughs> I say Frank's grill because I do not know how to work a grill. So this will be Frank's domain. It is the Weber Summit grill. It says Summit right there. And it's pretty large, like very heavy duty. It is a gas grill, so Frank has to buy some propane tanks for it, but it is really, really nice. There's like storage down here. That's where the propane tank's gonna go. All of the knobs have like the Weber symbol on them. And these grates are really nice and thick. And then I think this side, yeah, there's a burner over here. <laughs> Nori's out here now. But my camera overheated and shut down on me, but I just wanted to wrap this up and say, yeah, this is yeah. Le Grill. Bubbles. Your bubbles, where are they? Grass. It's in the grass. Oh no. Go get it. I can't get it. Go get it. Abby did it. Huh? Abby did it. Oh, Abby it. did it. Abby put it out on the grass. I don't think so. I think it was already out there. Go get it. I am back to working for a couple hours. I have a little visitor. <laughs> what are you doing? A cup. You got a cup? Mm -hmm. That's a baby cup. You playing with it? Mm -hmm. Nice. No, 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 no. This girl always comes into my office and tries to either type on my laptop or draw on my notebook. Right? <laughs> she's gonna have lunch here in a couple minutes and then she's gonna go down for a nap. <laughs> And then after she naps, I think we need to run to Home Depot for a few things. All right, mommy's gonna finish up some work, okay? I wanna see Trevor. 
You want to see the camera? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I fun. You're fun? Mm -hmm. And there's Rody. Rody is always in my office too. Nori is down for a nap now, but I just came outside real quick, even though I should be doing some more work. I wanted to take a look at the sunset because it looks... Oh, there's a bug. <laughs> I wanted to take a look at the sunset because it looks really pretty. Let me flip the camera around so you guys can see what I'm looking at. I feel like I can hear like thousands of birds chirping right now. But the sun is right over there, right above those trees. It is just so beautiful and so peaceful out here. We are absolutely loving the outdoor space. I don't know if I've shown you guys the the horses they're not our horses but they're our neighbors horses and the barn I think I showed this on Instagram I love looking at this view we have our chairs right here and sometimes we just sit here and look at the view So peaceful. But yeah, I can't get over it, honestly. It still feels really surreal to be living here and having this space, having this bigger house than we've ever had, and all of this land. I mean, we could probably host an entire carnival for the whole town just in our backyard. <laughs> Not that I would ever do that, especially during these strange times, but. I don't know. There's just something about it. I just feel so incredibly grateful. And then Rhodey is absolutely loving it too. She goes galloping across the grass. And I, when I say gallop, I actually mean gallop. She runs completely different than other dogs that I've seen. She actually gallops, which I love. It makes me happy. Go run! Nope. Not into it. Okay, fine. All right, I guess I'm gonna go back inside and finish up my work while this girl is napping. I swear, my entire schedule got completely thrown off today by having those appliances delivered. I am just now eating lunch and it is a little after 7 p.m. So I'm probably not even gonna eat a whole dinner tonight. I'll probably just snack before bed or something like that. But let me show you what I'm eating. So this is just some noodles called pancit. It is Filipino. It is basically like a Filipino lo mein. And these are just some vegetable egg rolls with two sauces and some watermelon LaCroix. My mom brought this food for us on Sunday when my parents and my sister and brother-in-law and my nieces came to visit and see the house for the first time. So we still have a ton of leftovers to eat, which I'm loving because I don't have to do anything. I don't have to cook. It's so good. If you guys ever have the opportunity to try Filipino food, I highly recommend it. But anyway, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I don't want this to be too long. If you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you do so. You don't wanna miss any of the videos that I post about my new appliances or any of the new house stuff that I have going on here. So definitely hit that red subscribe button. Oh, and if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next time. Bye. <laughs> Say bye. Bye. See you next time. Oh, okay.